The Ancient Egyptian Origin of the Olympic Games Presented by, MuscleTectonics.com In ancient Egypt, sports were enthusiastically practiced, and competitions and championships were also organized. One of the most well-known sporting competitions in ancient Egypt was called the, Hebsed Festival. The Hebsed festivals were jubilees celebrated after a pharaoh had held the throne for 30 years, and then every three or four years thereafter, similar to the Olympic Games. The purpose of the Hebsed festival was so that the ruling pharaoh could demonstrate his athleticism, health and strength, and show he was still fit to rule. As part of the Hebsed festival, the pharaoh participated in a triathlon consisting of weightlifting, running, and archery. First, at the beginning of the festival, the pharaoh would use rope to raise a wooden weighted jed pillar. Next, the pharaoh would run a race alongside a bull around a track eight times. Lastly, the pharaoh would demonstrate his archery skills using a bow and arrow, and shooting an arrow in the direction of north, south, east, and west. Some of the pharaoh triathletes who participated in the Hebsed triathlon were, the first dynasty pharaoh Den, the third dynasty pharaoh Djoser, the 6th dynasty pharaoh Pepi I, Hatshepsut, Amenhotep III, and Ramesses II. In Egypt, sport was born and flourished, and from there, it spread to Greece, Rome, and to the rest of the world. The following is a list of sports which were all played in ancient Egypt and predated the Greek Olympic Games. Archery was a well-known sport in ancient Egypt and was often recorded on plates in ancient temples. These plates show the king's and prince's skill in accurate aiming at the target, and their strength in pulling the bow. Archery competitions were common. In 2100 BC, King Amenhotep II boasted that he pierced the middle of a thick brass target with four arrows. He then set a prize for anyone who could do the same. Boxing Some ancient Egyptian scenes of boxing as a game were found in the tomb of Mary Ra, in the Minya Governate, and in the Tahotep tomb in Saqqara. In this picture, a player is depicted in a position ready to direct his blows with his fist to another player, who in turn, tries to repel these blows. Pharaohs and princes watched the boxing match, which indicates that it was an organized contest. Field Hockey Ancient Egyptians played a game that is similar to our present-day hockey. Drawings on tombs at Beni Hassan in the Menia Governate show players holding bats made of long palm tree branches, with a bent end similar to that of the hockey bat. The hockey ball was made of compressed papyrus fibers covered with two pieces of leather in the shape of a semicircle. The ball was dyed in two or more colors. Gymnastics, floor exercises, the ancient Egyptians invented many sports, some for entertainment, and others for keeping strong, physically fit, and slim. The picture dates back to 2000 years BC. It shows a gymnastics drill in which the body is bent backwards until the hands touch the ground revealing bodily flexibility. It is one of the most commonly practiced exercises today. Rhythmic Gymnastics The picture shows four players performing rhythmic gymnastics in different positions. The one on the left stands on one foot, stretching his two arms horizontally, and lifting one leg as high as possible to the front to help him revolve swiftly and lightly. The two players in the middle are standing facing each other, bending their arms near their shoulders while twisting their waists towards the left and right. The fourth player stands on his head upside down in perfect equilibrium, without touching the floor with his arms. All these positions are close to some practiced in today's rhythmic gymnastics. High Jump Ancient Egyptians practiced field and track sports such as the high jump. Two players sat opposite each other with legs stretched, with one player's feet on top of the toes of the other. If the third player managed to jump over that barrier, the two sitting players placed their palms on top of their feet to heighten the barrier which the third player had to jump across without touching. Marathon races were of the utmost importance in ancient Egypt, particularly during celebrations marking the assumption of power of new kings. One of the rituals of these celebrations, was to hold a marathon run by the king, around the temples before spectators, to reveal his physical strength and his ability to rule, using his bodily as well as mental capabilities. History records that the pharaoh, together with those who were born on the same day of his birth, participated in hectic marathons. No one was allowed to have a meal before covering 180 stages of his race. 
Swimming was the favorite sport of the ancient Egyptians, who made use of the river Nile to practice it. The Nile was not the only place for swimming contests. Noblemen's palaces had swimming pools in which princes learned the sport. The calm waters of the Nile encouraged youths to hold swimming competitions in which they could show their skills. Weightlifting was one of the sports known by the ancient Egyptians. One method of weightlifting was the attempt to lift a heavy sack of sand with one hand, like the clean and jerk Olympic lift, and keep it high in a vertical position. The player had to stay in that position for a short period. This is one of the rules of weightlifting applied till now. Wrestling, of all the ancient Egyptian sports, wrestling has the best visual documentation. The first depiction of wrestling occurs of six snapshots of a wrestling match from the tomb of Tahotep of the 5th dynasty. The greatest number of wrestling scenes comes from the Middle Kingdom. The tomb of Baki III has various wrestling matches and scenes painted across the east wall, showing different wrestling positions, grips, and holds. During the New Kingdom, depictions of Nubian soldiers as wrestlers became more prominent, and the Nuba are still associated with wrestling to the present. In the New Kingdom, wrestling matches were staged as part of ceremonies, festive occasions, and to honor deceased royalty. Thank you for watching. This has been the ancient Egyptian origin of the Olympic Games. Presented by MuscleTectonics.com